This is a toggle switch that not only toggles your input but it actually looks like switch. Have you ever wanted to add that extra touch of realism and interactivity to your websites? Stick around as we are going to create a super cool 3D realistic switch using just HTML and CSS, no fancy plugins or complicated frameworks needed. Just a bit of creativity and some coding magic. I created a HTML file and included some basic tags like head, title, body tags. I also styled the body by setting its width and height to 100%, removed default margin and padding, and applied a background color as shown. I also included some link tags for the Google fonts and icons. Next I added center element which is just for the video purpose only, it will contain all the other elements. Next I added a checkbox input with ID as toggle, which will help in toggling the switch and also acts as the input that has the value when switch is toggled. Next add a label for the toggle input which is also our switch element. Next add the mode element, which will be the modes of the switch. Inside which contains the text element, defining the name of the mode. Add another mode element for the on state. We can see the checkbox getting checked and unchecked when clicked on the switch element. Next style the center element by setting its width and height to 100% and align its children to center using display flex. Next hide the toggle checkbox by setting its display none. Then style the switch element by setting its width and height to fit content, which means the height and width of the switch element is defined by the size of its children. Then add a padding of 5 pixels and a gradient background as shown. Next add box shadow to switch element to create a depth effect. And finally add a border radius. Next style the mode element by setting its width and height and applying a gradient background as shown. To place these elements side by side, set display flex to the switch element. Then align the children of the mode element to center by using display flex. Then style the first mode element by setting its border radius only at top left and bottom left. Similarly style the second mode element by setting its border radius only at top right and bottom right. Next style the text element by setting its font properties as shown. But to create a depth effect, first make the text color to transparent. Then set a background color, then set the background clip property to text. And finally set a text shadow as shown which will create a nice depth effect for the text. Now we will make this switch to toggle. Initially the input checkbox is not checked. So we write a rule such that when toggle is not checked, we target the first mode element inside the switch element and rotate it along the Y axis by 50 degrees. But we are not able to see the rotation across the Y axis. To fix it set a perspective of 300 pixels for the switch element. Now we are able to see the rotate as expected, but it rotated along the center. So transform the origin to the right for the first mode element as shown. Similarly transform the origin of the second mode element to left. To distinguish the mode when toggle is checked and unchecked, add a background and box shadow to it. Next duplicate the rule for the first mode element and modify it for the second mode element by changing the not checked to checked and targeting the second mode element. Then change the rotation angle from 50 degrees to minus 50 degrees and change the direction of the box shadow. You can make the toggling happen smoothly by applying a transition for the mode element as shown. Next target the text element of the first mode element when the toggle is not checked and change its background color as shown. Similarly style the text element of the second mode element when the toggle is checked. To create a 3D depth effect to the switch, we will add two indicator elements, along with the classes of left and right, which will be placed at the sides of the off and on mode respectively. Next set the position relative to the switch element, so that the indicator element will be at absolute position with the switch. Then style the indicator element by setting its width and height, and applying a gradient background as shown. 
then set it at top of 50% and its Z index to minus 1, so that the indicator element will be hidden behind the mode element. Then style the left indicator by setting it to left by 5 pixels. I have hidden the right indicator to avoid the confusion, which is just for visualization purpose. Next translate the left indicator by minus 50%, which will align it at the center of the switch. Then rotate it by minus 65 degrees. Now it got hidden as it is rotated across the center, so transform the origin to left, which will create the depth effect. Similarly style the right indicator by changing the position from left to right, rotation angle from minus 65 to plus 65 degrees, and origin from left to right. We can observe that both the indicators are visible even when the switch is toggled. To fix it first set the width of the indicators to zero. Then when toggle is not checked, target the left indicator and set its width. And if the toggle is checked, target the right indicator and set its width. You can also make the toggle effect happen smoothly by applying transition to the indicator element. And you will have your unique toggle switch. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.